starting to go around the place and get all of those post-Christmas jobs done. Um, here's one of them, which I don't know if you can see too clearly, but this is a broken window. Um, we came back from our pre-Christmas jaunt around uh, Christmas markets to find that the window damaged. Um, been in email conversation with the supplier and they say well something's hit it so they're not going to replace it free of charge. Um, what a pain. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is take out the damaged pane sort of sealed unit and um, then I'll be able to measure it up properly and uh, go and get a new one made. But whilst it's out I need to keep the window blocked up so I'm going to go and get some wood cut to size so when I take the old bit of glass out I can replace it with a bit of wood until I get the new bit of glass made. Follow that. A job I didn't really want to have to do could have done without it, but there you go. Well, there you have it, the uh, broken pane of glass. Secure, weatherproof, weather tight. Anyway, now I've got that bit of glass out, I can take it somewhere and they can measure it and make me a new one. As you can tell, I'm now inside, um, inside the Maison de Maitre in what will become a bedroom. Um, I've got one little job I want to finish off, which is wiring in a socket over there. Um, I think I started to do it and then all the plaster on the wall just crumbled away so I stopped. Um, there are already four double sockets in this bedroom and one left to fit. When I've done that I'll be able to get the floorboards down um, and that will be the wiring done in this room. Um, so yeah that's what I'm going to start off by doing, just finishing off that little job. That's not too much effort. That's all now connected up and secured to the wall. Um, so just need to go and connect the other end of it into the junction box at the other end. And that is just next door in what shall now be known as the spaghetti room. I know what each and every one of these wires is there for. Good, well, making progress, eh? Um, so yeah, that's now all the 10 sockets working in this room. So, well next I think I'm gonna be able to get the floorboards back down, don't need them up anymore. Uh, I've got a few really big nails to remove from them first, and then I'll be able to get them back down. floorboards back down in here 
you'd never know I'd even touched them. Um, so that's the electric finished in this room. Um, there's a lot more to do though, as it might be obvious. Um, but for now I'm going to leave this one alone. I've got bigger, more important things to be doing. Namely, straight across the corridor in here, which will become a bathroom for the bedroom I've just put the socket in. It will have a dividing wall to make an ensuite, which will be accessed from the bedroom that's through there. So the big jobs I've got to do in here is to get the wastewater out. That's got the biggest pipe work. Now for some of it, I'm going to have to drill through the wall that's over there. Didn't, didn't sound bad, but remember the walls are 60 centimetres thick. So the plan we've come up with is to, to fit the bath sort of central underneath the window um, and then in the corner over there can have a shower and so that it isn't raised up the wastewater pipes can have to go down through the floor and out through that wall again in the ensuite there's going to be a shower you don't want that raised up so the water's got to go through the floor void and out through the wall there that both able to be connected up outside I'll show you that another time. But uh, yeah, so the first job I'm gonna to have to do in here, once I've moved the bath out of the way, is lift up some floorboards and uh, can start drilling a hole through the wall then. Gonna find Claire to give me a hand with this bath. Start. Don't know if I've taken up enough to get the drill and a long drill bit in there, but uh, uh, I'll give it a go and see how far I get. only a drill diameter of that thickness but it's gone through which is good so I can go now the other side and see exactly where it's come through make sure it's not interfering with anything else around there um, and then maybe drill it bigger from that side through back this way so right let's go and have a look so I've left the maze of the matra and come through to the side of the house that we're living in and <clears throat> take you into the attic space and through to this room here. Oh. I'm in our living room and I'm starting to pull out all of the videos to use for this week's episode, which is all going to be about last year. My husband has been doing work and he's just come and he's walked through the living room and he's got this face as if he's done something wrong. You know that? And I'm just about to ask him what he's broken. Come on then. I've sent you a photo. Pardon? I've sent you a photo. 
What have you broken? Just tell I'll me. You, I'll send you a photo. So he's now disappeared. He won't tell me what he's broken and he said he sent me a picture of it. Really hate when people do that. I'm going to look at the picture now. <laughs> I've just looked at the picture. I, I have no words. How? <laughs> how? How? <laughs> how did you manage to do that? <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> and how are you going to fix that? I don't know. I can see why you didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Do you think that you went a little bit too gun ho at this? I don't know. <laughs> I knew there was a chance that it could happen, but. And what? That's that's a. What pipe is that? It's a drain, well, gutter pipe. It's a gutter pipe. And what material is it made of? Metal. Metal. And you put... <laughs> I drill, drill through it. Right, the way through it. It's really central, though. I'll give you that. Thanks. It's one of the most... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't have hit it better, could I? No, no. Um, <laughs> how's... How's 2024 going so far? <laughs> well, annoyingly, that, <laughs> oh God, has come through, right through that pipe. It had the whole, the whole of that wall it could have come through. <sighs> but it's come through there. Well, I'm on route to the Brico to get some pipe. <clears throat> I needed it anyway, so I'm not going out of my way, but... Well, yep, I'm at the Brico shop, just been round, picked up some lengths of pipe and some connectors and bits and pieces. Not terribly exciting. Back home now and... Repair the damage. Home. I think I've got everything I need to get this fixed. Uh, so just what, what this is, this is a an internal sort of rainwater pipe which comes from there and takes the water roughly to the outside world. Now luckily it's not raining today, otherwise that would have been a lot more urgent than what it is. However, I need to get it fixed um, and I have a plan and I'll see if I can make it all work. What I've got is basically a new length of pipe. I'm gonna cut this one, which is just metal, cut it about there, redo the connector at that end, join that together. <laughs> There, well, that's that pipe work replaced. Uh, so, yeah, if it rains now, we won't get swamped inside. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's all going downhill, so... Hooray! So now it's, uh, it's left the hole here, which that's a hole I drilled through yesterday. Um, so I can now get that enlarged to, to fit the pipe through that I want to fit through. This is what I'm going to use now. Um, make that hole big enough to fit pipe work through. So, wish me luck. through 
Um, I took a bit of effort, but it's there, so. Ooh. We'll come back into the maze on the maze and yep, here is the pipe. Whee! <sighs> what a lot of work for one hole. Right, well, I've got one more job to do before I finish for the day. Um, that's to spray some of this around the pipe. It's not immediately obvious when you look at the house what it's made of. You think it's stone, well it is technically stone, but a lot of the walls are actually just made up with these little bits of stone, um, rubble. Um, so I don't want any of that moving around around the pipe. I'm going to spray the expanding foam in that will help stabilise the wall. Do that from both sides. It'll also stop any drafts from coming through or animals from going through. And it'll just hold the pipe in place and make sure the wall doesn't sort of collapse on me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that done now and then I am done for the day. I think it might be shower time. Well, I've just been to our post box. Um, wow, look what I've got. Um, it's a thank you card and some chocolate from... Mr. Bricolage saying thank you very much for, for being one of our more faithful customers. Uh, we'd like to give you this little treat and uh, look forward to welcoming, welcoming you in 2024. And isn't that lovely? Um, a bigger discount would have been nice, but I'll take the chocolate. Thank you very much. Um, so that's Mr. Bricolage. So... I mean, when they say most faithful, okay, Brico Depot, what are you going to give me? And Brico Marche, what are you going to give me? And Leroy Merlin, what are you going to give me? <laughs> Yesterday, I finished off by fitting the pipe, the waste pipe, which will be for a shower and a bath in, in the bathroom here. That's fitted now and uh, yeah, that bit's done. <laughs> I just need to do the same thing over this side of the room. Um, if you remember, we're going to have a wall down the middle of this room. Through there is going to be a bedroom which will access an ensuite here. So the shower and basin from this ensuite will be going out through that wall. I need to lift up the floorboards here and then drill through the wall. I know this time there's nothing I'm going to hit the other side, um, so it should go a little bit smoother. Uh, so yeah, that's today's project, drill another hole. As predicted, I haven't drilled into anything this time. Whee! Um, so now I'm going to uh, enlarge that hole big enough to get the pipe through. <laughs> hole big enough to get a pipe through um, 
So yeah, well I'm gonna push a, an undamaged bit of pipe through there and uh, and get some more of that uh, expanding foam on. And there it is, coming through the wall. And that stops there. And I've got another bit of pipe going from there to where the shower is gonna be. At this point, I'm gonna have a T come through the joist and then up to where the basin is gonna be in both one in each of the bathrooms here. But yeah, got that through. Yay. <laughs> two that I've done so, so far over there and over here to get the water out they're both they're both those pipes are in the room that I'm just working in and they're gonna come down and then connect into that saw pipe so yeah I've got to drill yeah just one more hole hole number one that's gonna go a little bit downhill Hole number two is going to connect into it and then somewhere here it's going to go back through the wall and join into that wall. Ah, there it is. That will do perfectly. Have it the pipe has arrived good Ooh. final hole through the wall morning um so just having a bit of a sweep up around the place i've been making lots of dust from all this drilling of holes and everything um so i'm just having a bit of a sweep up and then I think it's time I started joining some pipes together. That was thankfully drama free. Um, so I'm going to take another bit of pipe, go from upstairs down into this one and then uh, get that cut to length and get it glued in. Well, that's the, all the waste pipes through this floor now done, um, so I can work on the middle floor. Um, Over there, that's where the pipe comes from downstairs. Um, and then it'll come along here and we're gonna have a toilet in this room connecting into there, a toilet next door connecting into there. And then I need to fit a vertical pipe, come up here to uh, connect, to have a toilet upstairs in the attic. I'm gonna go next door now and get all the waste pipes from the basins and showers glued together. where it goes where I glued downstairs in the Raisin Demetra. So 
that now is connected through the wall there and through the wall there for both the showers and the basins in the two on uh, the two rooms through there. Well, good morning. It's been really cold overnight. Um, when I got up this morning, it was minus three outside and not far off it inside. Um, obviously, we don't have any heating in here or insulation. Very old, very thin window. So, yeah, it's cold. So I've got the fire on, which doubles up as a coffee warmer thing. I've realised I need to take up another floorboard um, and then because that will be all boxed in um, uh, that will enable me to get water through to this point without having to notch that joist. I'm going to have to notch it anyway just for a waste water pipe but um, if I had to do water supply pipes as well the notch is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I don't want that. I actually probably get these ones down um, I don't think I'm going to need them up anymore um, so that would be that would be nice won't fall through the ceiling probably going to get rid of the old electrical fitting there take down that curtain rail plenty to do bought a couple of doors one of them is fitted as the door to an ensuite for one of the bedrooms this one is going to go here um, father-in-law and I cut through that and made an absolute mess um, and actually it's not quite the right size it needs to go a bit taller so I'm gonna have a go at cutting that hole to the right size Now the correct height and width at the top. Ah, a bit dusty in here though. So uh, that's all for today. It feels like ages since we last said hi, hi and welcome to Wine, wine of, of the Week. week. And uh, well, this week we're on a wine. It's a red wine. It's from Bourgogne. actually a gift from my parents next door neighbours to us so mercy Baku, robert and catherine thank you very much thank you mercy and and you opened it i did i thought it should breathe you got told off last year so <laughs> well well here we go i've been i've been elusive this week but next week i shall be bringing you what i've been doing I've been busy. That's not to say that I haven't been not busy. Not to say that you haven't been busy, but you know I've been busy. And it's good to actually crack on with some work again, so... It is. Despite the cold, I know I have a roof and windows and luxuries like that, but it's still cold. It is very cold. <laughs> 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 well if you have enjoyed this week's episode please click the like button if you've not subscribed already please do so what are you waiting for uh you can find us on all of the social things it's been on throughout this week's video so yeah there we go well done cheers cheers yeah. oh. There you go, you heard it there first. And we will see you next time.
Cheers.